Hello kids! I hope you're having a good evening. We are going to have fun praising the Lord and learning His Word. So grab your Bible if you can. And also if you want to take some notes down, right? If you learn a new Bible verse or you learn a new promise, I want you to just say, Lord, I'm going to learn God's Word and I'm going to grow strong in my spirit. Oh, look who's here. We almost forgot. Do you all remember? Who is this? Here's Prayer Bear. Let's say hi. Say hi, Prayer Bear. Hi. Prayer Bear is here to say hi to all of you kids out there. We're going to have a lot of fun praising God. So let's begin by praying and thanking God for this beautiful day. So you can say after me, okay? Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for making me strong. Thank you for teaching me your word. I will grow and become strong in the spirit, filled with wisdom. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Are you ready to learn God's word? Okay, let's get right into the word today. Now today we are going to learn some scriptures from the Bible. Okay, remember the Bible is God's word and God has given us his word to grow strong, to help us in this life. Okay, and also so that we can be a blessing to other people. Okay, and remember, you are not too little to follow Jesus or tell others about Jesus. Because when Jesus is inside of you, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Okay. Let's get right into God's word and we're also going to sing some songs of praise, okay? But first, let's learn a Bible verse, okay? I'm going to set prayer bear down here and he's going to help me today as well. Okay, now today's story, we are going to learn about the three Hebrew children, okay? And this comes from the Bible in the book of Daniel, okay? Can you say Daniel? That's an easy book to remember. But these three Hebrew children, they had some pretty long names. Do you know what their names are? Their names are Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Do you think you could say that with me? Let's try saying it really slowly, okay? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Okay, that's pretty long, right? Remember what I said last time? Sometimes Bible characters, they had very long names, okay? But these three children loved God very much and they only wanted to follow God even when everybody else was doing the wrong thing, okay? So first, before we do the story, we're going to learn a Bible scripture, okay? It comes from the book of John chapter 10 verse 10. Okay, that's an easy one to remember. Can you do that with me? We are going to learn God's word with some hand motions. Okay, so this is an easy Bible verse. Okay, John 10, 10. Can you do that with me? John 10, 10. I think you got it. Now let's see what it says. Okay, now it says, The thief comes to steal, kill and destroy. Okay, the thief comes to steal, kill and destroy. Now, do you know who a thief is? What does a thief do? Well, I'm sure you know that, right? But a thief, they always come to steal something that doesn't belong to them. Okay, if you take somebody else's things and it's not yours, right? Well, you are being a thief and that's not correct. Okay, if you take someone else's and you didn't ask them, well, God is not pleased, right? Because it doesn't belong to you. If you want to take someone's things or you want to borrow it, you've got to ask them for it. Okay, that's the kind way to do it. And that's how God is pleased with you, right? But if you steal it and it's not yours, then you are being a thief. Mm, you don't want to do that, right? Okay, now let's see what this scripture says. Remember, we are in John chapter 10 verse 10. Okay, very easy to remember. Now, the thief comes to steal. Who is the thief? 
Who is the big main thief? Can you guess? Did you say the devil? Yes, the devil. The devil is the one who comes to steal, right? He is the one who comes and says, Hey, it's okay. Take their stuff. They will never know what you did. They won't think you're doing anything wrong. Ah, the devil, the big thief is telling you to be a thief. You see, that's the only thing the devil comes to do, right? The devil is a naughty fellow, right? He is not a good fellow, right? He'll try to tell you to steal and he'll try to get you to fight and he'll try to get angry and he'll try to get you to push others and say very mean things, right? That's the devil. He only comes to do bad things. But do you know what the next part of this verse says? It says, Jesus has come to give us life abundantly. That's a big word, right? But it simply means Jesus has come to give us a life of good things. You know, Jesus doesn't do any bad things, right? He only knows how to do good things. Now, we're going to learn this scripture. We're going to sing a song in just a minute, okay? But I want you to try to say this word. Abundant wonderful. Can you say that? Say it with me. Abundant wonderful. Okay? It's a big word, right? But that's the life Jesus has given us. Abundant wonderful life. Okay, are you ready? We're going to sing that with a song. I'm going to grab my guitar right here. And we are going to sing an easy song. And see if you can follow along with me, okay? Goes like this. There is a bundle wonderful life in Jesus. A bundle wonderful life that never ends. A bundle wonderful happiness, a bundle wonderful friends. There's a bundle wonderful life in him. Let's try it together. There's a bundle wonderful life. One more time, okay? We're gonna sing it. There is a bundle wonderful life in Jesus. A bundle wonderful life that never ends. A bundle wonderful happiness. A bundle wonderful friends. There's a bundle wonderful life in Him. There's a The one who gives us abundant life. Okay? All right. See, prayer bear is also happy because he knows that when you have Jesus, you have an abundant, wonderful life. Okay, did you get that Bible verse? Let's say it from the top together, okay? Now, John, if you got your Bibles, you can say it with me. John 10, 10. The thief, the devil, comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus has come to give us life abundantly. Or we can also say abundant wonderful life. That's wonderful, right? Now, what do you think abundant wonderful life has? Well, abundant wonderful life means you have healing, it's good to be healed, right? Uh, so, you know, when people, they don't have healing, they're always sick. And that comes from the devil, right? But with Jesus, we have healing. We are strong. What else does the abundant, wonderful life have? Hmm. Joy? It has joy, right? Jesus doesn't make you sad. With the abundant, wonderful life, he makes you joyful. Okay, there's, there's some more. Let's see one more. Uh, let's see. Um, ah, I got it. Peace. 
with the with the banda wonderful life you have peace in your mind right god does not want you to have fear right that comes from the devil remember the devil only steals kills destroys but jesus gives you peace so that means if you go to bed at night right you can go to sleep peacefully why because jesus lives inside of you that's the abundant wonderful life okay now you know what the bible says it's very important this scripture right it's from the book of ephesians chapter 4 okay ephesians can you say that ephesians chapter 4 verse 27 says don't give place to the devil hmm what does it say don't give place to the devil what does that mean well let's say it was pretty crowded here okay let's say we had a lot of some more friends sitting here and someone else wants to sit here what do i have to do i have to give them some place to sit right i got to move oh move give me some space right i have to give them place to sit down well this scripture says don't give place to the devil that means if the devil says i want you to go and steal that person's things and then you say oh if i steal it then i can have those nice things that they have oh oh you know what you have done you're giving place to the devil or the devil might say it's okay to tell a lie they don't have to know the truth just tell a lie no one will know what are you doing you're giving place to the devil and remember the devil doesn't do anything good right if he tells you to tell a lie he is only telling you that to put you in trouble right nothing good comes from the devil or the devil might tell you he might say just fight if you fight and you fight and you fight they will think you're strong no that's not what god says god says we got to love each other not fight right maybe you got your toys and maybe uh, your brother or your sister took one of your toys you say give me that it's mine no i won't share with you i don't want you are not going to have it oh you're giving place to the devil by not sharing and that's not a good thing right instead if you want to have the abundant wonderful life you got to say okay i'll share my toys with you and we can both play together you see that's doing what jesus would want you to do right not what the devil wants you to do okay so we are not going to follow the devil we're going to follow jesus okay now that we know the devil is the one who steals kills and destroys then why do we want to dress up like a devil but that's what some people do you know when they celebrate halloween right which was yesterday right they they dress up like a devil and put their horns and they'll put all these masks and all that and say i'm a little devil i'm a little devil who who hmm that's not funny right the bible says that anything to do with witches or with the ghosts or wizards that's from the devil right and you don't want to do anything that's with the devil right he will say there's nothing wrong you go and just wear a black mask and you put a horn on your head and you go and be a little devil you can scare all the people there that's not funny that's not good right god does not like those kind of things and you got to say no i'm not going to do that but then sometimes you might think and say but everybody else is doing it everybody else gets to wear a mask everybody else gets to wear horns and i can't do anything you don't have to dress like them you can have a hallelujah party instead of halloween you can praise the lord and you can dress up like bible characters you can dress up like moses or you can dress up like joseph with his colored coat that's better than dressing like the devil okay so you don't want to be like that and remember the story i told you earlier i was going to tell you the three hebrew children their long names shadrach 
Meshach and Abednego. Now these three children, they also decided we are going to obey God. We are not going to do what everybody else does. Just because everyone is celebrating Halloween doesn't mean I have to do it. God does not like it. Okay, so let's get into the story. I hope you're excited. Okay, have you got your excitement ready? Yes. Okay, let's see what happened to these three boys. Okay, comes from the book of Daniel. Okay, now let's see what happened. Now, there was a king. Okay, now let's get our imagination all ready to see what happened. Well, this king, his name was King Nebuchadnezzar. There's another long name, okay? Now, this king was very proud, okay? And he always wanted people to bow down and worship him, right? So one day, he got an idea. What did he do? Well, he decided, I want people to build a big statue, a gold statue of me. A big, big one, okay? Can you show big? Not this tall, it must have been uh, you know, really tall, okay? And so what happened? Well, he said, once we get it all finished building it, I want some music to be played, right? Some flutes and some horns. And when the music is played, I want all the people to fall down and bow down at my statue because I am everything. I am God. That's what Nebuchadnezzar did. Okay, so what happened? Now these three Hebrew children, they were working in the king's palace and they knew, no, we're not going to bow down to that man. We only bow down to God. Okay, so they said, we will not bow down. Okay, what did they say? We will not bow down. That's what they said. Okay, so what happened? Well, the day came that the golden statue was ready. Okay, it was all finished. And now all the people are gathered together and the musicians have got together and they're ready to bow down to the statue. Now here's Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. They came and they said, what did they say? We will not bow down. Okay, so now the music is going to be played. And the king said, if you don't bow down, you will be thrown into the fiery furnace. The fire will be very hot and you will have to be thrown in the fire if you don't bow down. Oh dear. So but Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, they said, they decided... We will not bow down. Okay? So now the music is about to be played. And everybody's getting ready. Ta -ta 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 -ta. And everybody, what did they do? They fell down like this and bowed down to the golden statue. And Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, they were standing straight. Everybody's bowing down. What did they say? We will not bow down. Okay. And then what happened? Now the king's people, they were looking and they told the king, there are three people there. They're not bowing down. Hey, you bow down. Bow down. Everyone's bowing down. Bow down. What did they say? We will not bow down. Oh no. Nebuchadnezzar was angry. You know how to get angry? Arr! He was so angry, his cheeks got so red, right? He said, bring those three and tell them to come to me. And so they came and the king said, why are you not bowing down to my statue? And they said, O oh, king, we will not bow down. And the king said, if you do not bow down, I will throw you in the fire and you are going to get burnt in the fire. Now kids, is it good to play with fire? No, right? No, prayer bear thinks the same thing. No, don't play with fire, right? It's, a, it's not good, right? You know, when your mama cooks a meal, right? She'll tell you, don't go and touch the fire there, right? It's very hot. Now the king is going to put them in the fire because they are not bowing down. 
ഉണ്ട് but they said to the king we will not bow down and the king said well if you don't bow down i'm going to throw you in the fire and i'm going to make the fire even seven times hotter <gasps> seven times hotter ouch right you know if you go in the fire what's going to happen your clothes get all burnt your hair goes off your head right you become a nothing in the fire well that's what happened the king took them he got his mighty soldiers right he said take these three children who will not bow down to me and throw them in the fire they said king we will not bow down to your god we only bow down to the true god and he will save us from the fire but if he doesn't even save us we will not bow down okay so what happened they took them and they threw them in the fire and then the king was waiting they're going to be roasted right he was excited right they're going to be roasted because they didn't obey my commandment well all of a sudden he put them in and he's looking and waiting to see them roast to death and he looks and he all of a sudden starts shaking ah he looks at his soldiers and says didn't we put three people in the fire look i can see four people in the fire the fourth person looks like the son of god oh no and he he, he looked at them and said are you still there and then when he went to the fire he said come out of the fire and when he got them out of the fire they were not even burnt at all right the hair was on their head their clothes were still there the hats were so nicely there sitting on the head and they didn't even smell like fire wow nebuchadnezzar said your god is the true living god he saves from every danger and he took them out and he gave them a promotion also right and he was so happy he said now i know this is the true and living god your god is the true god and he said everybody else you got to bow down to their god who is the true god and kids that's the god that we serve right remember what they said we will not bow down right they were different they didn't follow everybody else and you see you don't have to be like everybody else right when jesus lives inside of you you want to be like jesus not everybody else right pray bear thinks the same thing that's right okay so let's follow jesus even if everybody else is doing the wrong thing right we don't need to follow the devil remember what the devil does we learned in the scripture john 10 10 what does it say the thief who is the devil he comes to steal kill and destroy but what has jesus come to give us a banda wonderful life say that with me jesus has come to give me a banda wonderful life okay let's remember that now we'll sing a song and this song is called follow the leader okay now who is our leader did you say jesus yes jesus is our leader and we are going to follow jesus only right so it goes like this 1 2 3 follow the leader jesus christ the king follow the leader everybody sing follow the leader each and every day cuz jesus is the son of god and he's the only one and that's a little fast okay so we're going to take it slower so you can sing along with me ready 1 2 3 4 <laughs> follow the leader jesus christ the king follow the leader everybody sing follow the leader each and every day cuz jesus is the son of god and he's the only way follow the Jesus Christ the king follow the leader everybody sing follow the leader each and every day cuz Jesus is the son of God and he's the only way cuz
Cause Jesus is the Son of God and He's the only way. Let's sing our song, Abundant Wonderful Life, one more time, okay? Now I'm sure by now you can say that word. Abundant Wonderful Life. Who has given Abundant Wonderful Life? Jesus. What does the devil come to do? Steal, kill and destroy. But we're going to follow Jesus, right? So let's see it one more time. There is a abundant, wonderful life in Jesus. Abundant, wonderful life that never ends. Abundant, wonderful happiness. Abundant, wonderful friends. There's abundant, wonderful life in Him. One more time. Wonderful friends, there's a bundle, wonderful life in him. There's a bundle, wonderful life in him. Let's sing it one more time, okay? There is a bundle, wonderful life in Jesus. You can dance if you want. A bundle, wonderful life that never ends. A bundle, wonderful happiness. A bundle, wonderful friends. There's a bundle. Some of you don't know Jesus, right? And we are going to pray and Jesus will come to live inside your heart and he will be your best friend, okay? Prayer Bear is also going to pray with me, okay? What we've been learning about today is we've been learning about following Jesus and not trying to be like everybody else, okay? Because when you follow Jesus, sometimes people won't like you. Right? Because when you follow Jesus, you do the right thing, right? Everybody won't want to do that, right? But following Jesus is always the best thing, right? Following the devil, it only makes us sad and lonely, right? Because remember what we learned? John 10, 10 says, The thief, who is the devil, comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus has come to give us a bundle, wonderful life. Okay, so shall we pray? And if you want Jesus to be your best friend, you can pray this after me and he will never leave you. He will come right inside your heart and he's going to be your best friend. Okay, now you can say this with me. Ready? Say, Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. Forgive me for the bad things I have done. I choose to follow you forever and ever and ever. Make me a new person. In Jesus' name, Amen. Now Jesus is inside of you, you can follow him, right? And he will give you what life? A bundle, wonderful life, okay? And also, if you want to see more kids' videos and you want to also learn songs of praise to praise Jesus and also stories and lessons from the Bible, we've got a lot of that on this channel, okay? It's called Raising Up Champions. And all you got to do is click that subscribe button and the bell also and then you will know when we get a new video out there. Okay, so I'm going to see you next time. Remember, follow the leader Jesus. Bye-bye.